everybody. Scott here for the Helix channel. It is Tuesday and I'm feeling a little bit better today. I think I've only blown my nose about a dozen times today, which is fast improvement from yesterday. Um, and today I'm going to answer a question with a question. No, uh, I was asked why I use the uh, pitch shifter in front of the amp with the negative nine, positive nine as sort of a, you know, a version of a, of a doubler and in lieu of chorus when there's the new double take, which is, I believe it's kind of like the TC Mimic pedal, but there are reasons why I'm not using that and I'm going to show you those today, shall we? Alrighty, here's what I've got going on for the preset today. There's a gate, of course. There's a compressor. Even split between the paths. Now, the question was why I prefer to run a pair of these. The simple pitch in front of my amplifiers will run a plus nine and a negative nine. And I use an, end up with a sound like this. <laughs> That's a sound that I love. Now, if we replace them with the double takes. Now, let me put the double takes both on one double. And I had the sensitivity on this about 6.6 uh, .6. earlier. It's, to me, where I like it for this particular thing. You know, I'm not a huge fan of it. And I'll show you why. I'm using a Brick J45, high watt IR, jazz rivet, and a bad cat, and some reverb. So, with these pedals, or the double take, here's what we get. <laughs> There's a shininess to the top end that I don't like. And some artifacts that sort of jump in out of nowhere. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Still haven't shaken this cough. But the, uh, the main thing to me is the artifacts that jump in out of nowhere is I find it kind of annoying. So that's the main reason why I'm not using this, the double take. Um, if you listen close, you can hear them. There, you heard one. It's sort of like, it like kicks into another gear almost, and I find that kind of annoying. Whereas, when I use the uh, the simple pitch, and one of them will usually have a delay on it of about 33 milliseconds, I end up with, you know, It's just smooth and, you know, offers the modulation that I want. It's not, you know, uh, a too, you know, saccharine-y like, like choruses can be at times. I really prefer the pitch to chorus. If I want something that's over the top chorused out, I'll add a chorus to the simple pitches. But that's kind of rare these days. I'll do it, but, um, you know, I can also increase, I'm sorry, if we take this up to about 12, that's about as far as I really ever want to go, because then it starts to get 
uh, it just starts to sound strange. See, now it's, it's venturing into chorusing territory to me. And that's why I prefer the negative nines across the board because it doesn't resemble directly a chorus. So, you know, that's why I do it. There you go, everybody. That's why I prefer the uh, the pitch shifter in front of the amp trick. It just sounds better to me, more organic. Uh, uh, nothing against the double take or any of the effects, really, but uh, it's just my preference. And I'm not a fan of flangers or phasers uh, or vibe pedals for the most part. To me, uh, some pitch shifting will pretty much do it. I like a pitch shifter, a little bit of reverb, some delay, and I'm fine. <laughs> cool buzz, tasty waves, I'm fine. So, I'll be back tomorrow with a name that riff. <sighs> Good stuff. No idea when, uh, what decade it'll be from. Haven't even given it any thought. I'm gonna wait until tomorrow morning. Maybe the afternoon. We'll see. Um, there's a link in the description for my new website. Check it out. All of my preset packages are there. Available for purchase. And uh, yeah, also let me know if um, you have any requests for Thursday's video and for my upcoming preset package I'm starting next week. I haven't nailed down what I'm gonna do yet. Still thinking about it. So, I'll see you tomorrow. And until then, cat's fucking with shit again. Rock on.